Hey YouTubers, Test Jess One here. Um, going to be doing a bit of work on the Predator today. I've ha I haven't done much at all to do it, but I want to this coming weekend. I put I put it off for about two weeks, touching this. Just been doing bits and pieces, nothing, nothing serious. Applied the chest and did a little bit of a, a hair follicles on the end of the uh, down the bottom of the sternum there. And uh, got the chest in, in the in the and patched it all up. Now I just want to put some muscle lines in its chest. As it is, that I'm not happy with it, so I'm just going to muck around with my my Dremel and put some shape into it. So what I'll do is once I've finished, I'll just show it without the sanding and all that sort of thing. I'll show you what it looks like after I've finished. Okay. Hey guys, I'm happy with that. Very alien type chest. Um, carved the shit out. I put some deep, deep um, pockets in the Derek Downey stern there, and um, yeah, give him gives him that sort of muscle skeleton look at the same time, you know. So it's muscle, but it's ribbed. I'm really liking the look of that, so I'm going to stay with that. It's, I'm not too, it's probably not uh, accurate to the real predator, but we are we're talking about Jurassic predators, so it's going to be slightly different anyway. So, okay, so that's I'm happy, really happy with the how that looks. I mean, half of it's going to be covered up anyway because it's going to be. I've got some uh, um, ribs that are going to be coming around and come up his chest and across his chest. So, from from a um, from the back, he's gonna have like a um, yeah, it's gonna be like ribs connected to a skull or like a, some sort of bone um, pieces on his back, and the and the ribs the they're gonna come quite far out, but they're gonna go across across and up and stick right out in front of his chest. So it's gonna be very very interesting. Um, yeah. So anyway, getting away from that, I've I'm happy with that. This is his outfit that's going to go on him. So what I'm going to do is tease all this leather around the edges. I've put some little slices on it, and now I'm going to tease it with my my Dremel again. These, this is his um, groin um, strips. Um, so basically, that attaches at the front. I'm not sure you can, how well you can see it there, and these overlap each other sort of go like that I'll quick get I'll show you one side uh, sort of like that <coughs> don't know if you can see guys but I've got bloody leather inside leather fluff all over me, in your face, up in your eyes, nose. Anyway, I've, I've teased all around the insides, as you can see the pattern of all the the tips of my leather clothing that's going on my predator. So that's basically all the clothing. Um, it's going to have going to have fur boots and um, little bits of fur around his body in certain spots as well um, so that's going to add to his feature he's going to look very cave like almost cave like with the bones surroundings and sort of shit that would scare the shit out of you if you saw it you know that sort of stuff but anyway um, what I'm going to do now I did that with the the circular um, steel brush tip. Now for the um, weathering on the on the other side, I'm not going to. Oops. I'm not going to use the steel because it's too harsh. I'm going to use a, a nylon or plastic tip circular brush. 
Now that's very mild and it won't eat into the, the paint too much. So I'm just going to weather that now. So I'm going to get stuck into it. And uh, so I can have, have a rest and uh, have a beer. But this is basically all the clothing. So I'll do that. I'll show you again my um, clothing and uh, once I've finished and decide whether I want to paint it up or what I want to do after that. I belong. Yes, still covered in fur and shit. Jesus, I feel like Sasquatch. It's that I've got that much bloody skin on me. Furry skin. And I'm really happy with the end result. Um, that's the inside of this top. But when I hacked it and got rid of the colour, it came out like this. Now this is the this, this is what I, I like. I like the messed up fluffy bits. That's his pants. I'm liking, I'm really liking that because once the white armor goes on, it's going to look shit hot. That's the back of his um, garment, of his bum, the tail garment that goes around his waist. I'm really happy with the teased bits on there, you know, all messed up and raggy. Really cool. And of course, the groin, the groin go out. Actually, I've got to stitch that one, I forgot to stitch it. But yeah, all. Oh, all weathered and I'm really happy with the colour and the look of it so yeah I'm just going to stitch this up now and that's it for me I'm going to pack it up it's um took me roughly about I don't know about a an hour hour to, hour to to weather my garment so yeah really happy uh, I'll probably be painting don't have to paint the Predator that much. I've actually got a... <clears throat> well, the back I don't have to worry about. It's completely covered. Completely covered. There would be that much shit going on it. You would hardly see any skin. The chest I want to paint. The arms I'll do in a white, white grey. Just might just paint it, yeah. I don't think I'll worry about the spots as much. I'll probably do the spots around the legs like this one's got here. Around this area. I'll probably paint around the legs there and the knees. And the stomach. And the chest. Not a lot of painting. So, it's more, more of the clothing and, and all the sculpting of the bones and stuff that's going to go on him coming along good really good okay guys um, my next clip I'll do I'll be showing you some of my um, sculpting part of things and how I'm going to do it and what I've designed and I've got some ideas and uh, yeah it's going to be a very very nice piece when it's finished I hope so okay guys catch ya hey youtubers back again <laughs> I um trying to think of um what sort of to work with with the armory and um this uh custom predator that, that I'm making because I had to do oh I don't know if I can get the piece of paper up where is it sorry guys a bit unorganized just the way I work Um, what it is, uh, I'm not sure if you, sorry about the no shirt guys, that's the way I work, I don't like getting crap all over my clothes and that's the way I work, so yeah, just excuse my uh, rawness, my have got pants on, don't worry about it. Okay, what I wanted to do is create some sort of shield effect with the with the bone uh, with the claws on the and they attach the hands and then also have a shield effect up here 
with some sort of scription into the into the bone. So I was trying to think of what the hell am I going to put in there as a shield? You know, you wouldn't use bone. Um, what would he use? Something that's attractive. And I did want to make it. And if I was going to make it, I wanted to make it something that looked like a natural item. So I thought, what can I make to put on his arm that would look attractive? And then yesterday, then I come to it yesterday, I thought, shell, ocean, teeth, teeth from the animals, and then the, the, the shell really clicked in. Because I had shells, I've got some snail shells in my um, my garden, in my, one of my pots. And the I colours... Sort of change the angle guys, just in case you haven't, you can't see, but there, there you go. Okay, this is sort of like real, it's got some of the the outer shell, but the and then the under the underlining of the uh, shell, which is very shiny and very attractive to look at. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep the the old stuff on there as well. But I'll probably go over with it like a a varnish or a sealer, just to, after I've buffed it up. Yeah, so that's going to be part of his shield, and also going to be using some of this as his uh, weaponry uh, as well. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Just, just one out. Catch ya.